Hello guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm doing a haul video from LA, which actually, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know it was a few weeks ago now, but um, I've been ill. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I've had laryngitis and I completely lost my voice for two weeks. I still sound a little bit croaky, but I'm pretty much out of the woods now and I'm so excited to be back filming again. It feels really weird having not filmed for so long. But I've got a bag of stuff that I picked up when I was in LA. Some of it I have actually worn already and I put it back in here. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a few things that I got um, as I'm really excited about them. And the first thing is a vintage Levi's um, denim jacket. This is really, really similar to my blue denim jacket that I wear a lot. And I've wanted like a black wash one for ages. And I actually went and saw them in the Levi's shop and I didn't realize how expensive they are now. They're $200 for a new one. And I was like, you know what? I think I'll be able to find a nice one vintage and it'll probably be like a little bit more distressed and a bit more different than buying a new one. So I ended up finding this one in the Reformation vintage store on Melrose, which I actually didn't realize was there the last time. I went into that store, it was the um, new Reformation clothing in there. Now they have like two separate stores. One sells like their own brand stuff and the other one is a vintage store and they had a load of really nice vintage stuff but I ended up seeing this and I was like, this is perfect. I absolutely love it. It's a little bit more like boxy cut than my other one, mainly in the sleeves, um, but I really like it. I'm gonna show you guys. I'll actually do cutaways and show you guys what it looks like separately, but um, I really like it. I love the wash. It's like a black denim, but it's really washed out. It's oversized. It's super comfortable. You can roll up the sleeves. Um, it's just exactly what I was looking for. So I was really excited to find that because it's, like I say, exactly what I wanted. I wear my blue one so much and I know I'll get a lot of wear out of this because a lot of my wardrobe um, tends to be like black or gray and I just really love the wash of this. I think it's so nice. Um, so that is my vintage denim jacket. Very excited for that. And then I also picked up two other clothing items, both of which are dresses, and both are from the same brand, which is a sustainable brand called Christy Dawn, which is actually based in LA. My friend sent me a link to this, um, to their website when I was out there, and I actually didn't realize it was an LA-based brand. I was looking through their dresses, I was like, wow, this is a really nice brand, and then realized they had a store in Venice, and when we were there, we kind of took a bit of a detour, we actually took a really awesome walking detour through the residential part of Venice, it was awesome um, and bizarre. We ended up on this like tiny little back street that went through people's houses, it was like not even a road, it was like a walkway but our um, phone maps took us that way and we got to look at all these awesome gardens and all these amazing houses. Anyway, so we found the shop eventually and I ended up buying two dresses from there. Um, I love all the designs and it's really it's got a really good kind of um, story as well. They make all of the dresses from um, dead stock from other brands, which is basically fabric that would otherwise be thrown away. Um, they buy it in and make beautiful dresses out of it. So um, the first one I got is this one, and these are both the ones, I had a look on the website, and I ended up buying both of the ones I thought I would from looking at the website. Um, this is the first one, it's a black wrap dress with this gorgeous like pinky, um, purple floral print and it has floaty sleeves. I love wrap dresses, I think I'll get so much wear out of this one. I've actually worn this once already. Um, it is a maxi, so it hits the floor at the back, but it comes up a bit shorter at the front. It's one of those ones that is so useful because you can wear it um, in the daytime really casually, you can dress it up or down. Um, that's what I meant to say, you can dress it up or down, so you can wear it in the daytime, or you could wear it even for like a wedding or something more formal. Um, I wore it the other day with my denim jacket over the top and I really liked it. So yeah, this is my first dress from Christy Dawn. And then the other one is um, this, which definitely needs a wash because I've worn this twice and I didn't want to wash it yet because I wanted to show it in this video. Um, but it looks like this, it's really heavily embroidered with all of these beautiful clashing colors. So it's got pink and red and this gorgeous like teal, purple, super colorful. I'm gonna wear this loads in the summer. It's also made out of a really light cotton. It is slightly sheer, so you definitely need a um, a slip underneath it, but that's fine, because I have a slip from another dress. And yeah, it has these like really nice embroidered sleeves as well. And then the, it has like a tiered skirt with an elasticated waist, and then the embroidery goes down onto the bottom as well. So it's quite loud, this one, and kind of like folky. 
it reminds me of like a 60s kind of hippie dress, but I really like it. Um, like I said, I've worn it a couple of times already, so I'll definitely get lots of wear out of it um, in the summer. And I think it's one of those things that's quite a um, kind of, it's not classic, like it's definitely not classic, but in terms of the shape and the style of it, it's a really nice classic summer dress that I know I will wear um, for years to come. And then lastly, but not least, I picked up two pieces of workout gear from this shop, which is called Avocado. And this was recommended to me by a friend. Um, she sent over a list of recommendations for LA and was like, if you're on Abbot Kinney in Venice, make sure you go and check out this workout gear. Um, and we did. Oh my God, it's amazing. So the first thing I picked up were these leggings. I actually posted a picture wearing these um, where on my Instagram when we were hiking and um, lots of people commented on them actually. They are so cool. Look at the embroidered pattern. They had these in loads of different colors. I tried on so many things in this shop and I wanted to buy so many, um, but I had to stop myself and I ended up coming away with these. And these are actually a really good price point. I think they were around the 80 or 90 dollar mark, which is pricey for workout gear, but the quality of these is incredible. They're so thick, so comfortable, and just really soft and lovely. And if you compare it to other brands, say Lululemon, Sweaty Betty, they're actually a really good price. And I was pleasantly surprised when I looked at the prices, I thought they were gonna be really expensive, especially being on Abbott Kinney, because seriously, every shop there is, you think it's gonna be like normal prices, and then it's, crazy expensive. Um, so I got those and I'm so happy with those and I've worn them a couple of times as well and they're super comfy. And then I also got this hoodie which is like a faded black cropped hoodie. This is so comfy. I feel like I'm gonna wear this absolutely tons before and after the gym and just like lounging and just in general for keeping warm. Very happy with that. Again, this was $98 so um, definitely on the more pricey end for workout gear, but compared to other expensive brands like Lululemon, Sweaty Betty, etc., um, a really good price. And I really like the style of it. It's a little bit more grungy and loose cut and comfortable. Um, a lot of the Lululemon stuff tends to be quite like fitted and zip up and stuff. So I was really happy with those. Oh, then I also got one more thing. So I actually went to Sephora and I only picked up one thing I was being really good. Um, and it is from Natasha Denona and it's one of their miniature um, face palettes and it's the bronze and highlighting powder. I intend to use this more as a contour and highlight and then also as eyeshadows because I think they, these would be the most beautiful colored eyeshadows. And the pigmentation is insane as per usual with Natasha Denona. Um, just gorgeous, gorgeous textures, um, but yeah lovely and I think it was about $14 as well or maybe it, might be, it was either 14 or 19 um, but really good nice little compact I thought um, I'll get a lot of use out of that for this summer so um, that's the one thing that I picked up from Sephora um, and that is it for my LA haul I hope you guys enjoyed it also before I go I always get questions whenever I wear hair clips I get questions about them this is um, one from Rosie Fortescue jewelry it's actually like a jewelry piece so um, it's very fancy, uh, silver with rose gold placing um, and Swarovski crystals. It's beautiful, I love it. But I thought I would mention that because last time I wore a hair clip I got a lot of questions about it. Um, so that is where it's from, if you're wondering. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It feels very good to be back on YouTube. Um, I will see you very soon. Bye guys.